Thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. I'm Christina Marujos and joining me today is Senior Investment Analyst Rafi Boyajian. We'll be looking at Canadian CPI and retail sales. Now, the Canadian economy, according to the latest reports, seems to be doing really well. Now, we're expecting CPI data on Wednesday for June, of course, and followed by retail sales for May on Friday. Do you think these reports will follow the upward and positive trend? Uh, so, yeah, you pointed the uh, up to trend, so we did see recent data being on the strong side uh, and we're expecting retail sales to accelerate uh, to 0.3% uh, in May. Uh, as for inflation though, uh, we saw of course that jump to 2.4% uh, for the month of May. We're expecting in June uh, to fall back to 2%. Uh, if that is indeed the case, uh, it would support the Bank of Canada's view that the recent uh, rebound in both inflation and growth is likely uh, to be uh, temporary. Speaking of the Bank of Canada, despite all the positive reports we've been getting lately, it's keeping a rather neutral stance. Markets are not expecting it to cut rates. Do you think these reports will change its attitude? Um, so the Bank of Canada has been neutral uh, and uh Possibly in under uh, different circumstances, we would have expected the Bank of Canada to uh, signal a rate hike. Uh, but at the last meeting, the Bank of Canada uh, pointed out the downside risks, risks from the trade uh, tensions. Uh, so if we do see uh, the, the Canadian data start to weaken in the coming months, uh, we could see the Bank of Canada shifting uh, potentially to a more uh, dovish stance. And what about the loonie? It's been experiencing some lovely weeks recently. It, last week in particular, it hit fresh highs for 2019. Do you think it will keep up the upward trend? Well, that's looking to, uh, likely to be the case uh, because, of course, uh, the Fed uh, is expected to cut uh, later this month and they've got much more room uh, to lower borrowing costs than uh, the Bank of Canada. So if the, even if the Bank of Canada uh, did uh, shift to an easing bias uh, at one of its upcoming meetings, uh, that would still, uh, we would see, still see the Canadian dollar uh, being supported uh, due to those rate differentials versus the US dollar. Rafi Boyajian, thank you for joining me thank today you. and thank you for watching us at XM.com.